part, it's a really pleasant start to our Sunday. This is the view right now looking out from Rocky Mountain National Park, I've seen people coming and going, hiking, biking, taking a little motorcycle ride, partly cloudy skies east of DIA, dry conditions and very mild, pleasant temperatures. 75 degrees, sunny skies in Denver right now, 66 out near Sterling, and then we're in the 50s and 60s into our mountain towns at the valley levels. Here's our planner for this afternoon. We'll stay mostly sunny, warm throughout the first half of the day, increasing cloud coverage and temperatures in the upper 80s with a few chances for scattered storms later on this afternoon, mainly between about 4 and 7 o'clock. By 3 o'clock, though, high temperatures will be in the low 80s up near Steamboat, Fort Collins, and Greeley, both in the upper 80s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds through midday and really warm, especially down to the south and the east near Lamar and Pueblo, where we have a better chance of seeing some stronger thunderstorms develop later on tonight. This is what it looks like on our future cast as we head throughout the day today. So if you have any plans outside, maybe thinking, hey, it's a good day, maybe have some brunch, go have a picnic in the park, whatever you decide to do, head to the mountains by 11 o'clock, still sunny, dry, statewide. Winds will pick up across the northeastern corner and then down to the southeast by about lunchtime. Through the middle of the day and early afternoon, this is stopped at 5, increasing cloud coverage up and down I-25, so we'll see mostly cloudy conditions. A lot of the rain and scattered storms will stay further off to the west. If you're traveling on I-70, could be seeing some wet roads right around 5, 6 o'clock, and then slight chance in town right around seven to eight of seeing a few of those storms pop up. We're not talking much in the way of real heavy rain, but also could just see some gusty winds, light to moderate rainfall associated with some of those cells. Very scattered in nature. By 1030, we'll be under a mostly cloudy sky, still some showers down to the south near the springs. And then also early tomorrow morning, we're tracking a cold front. So models right now are indicating more cloud coverage than initially we thought. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some decent and fair viewing conditions for the eclipse through the middle of the day. We'll stay dry in Denver, partly cloudy, and then by 1130, this is what we're looking at. Could be seeing um, a decent shot of the sun, especially if you go up to a steamboat near Craig. We're going to be staying mostly sunny, dry, but as you can see, some showers streaming in from south to north, and then we have this cold front moving through come late Monday night. That'll increase our chance for a few more showers in the afternoons, and then also some cooler temperatures. But for tomorrow, we're expecting mid-80s, Partly to mostly cloudy skies with a better chance of seeing some stronger afternoon and evening thunderstorms, especially across the plains and also in town. So this is what it looks like in terms of our cloud coverage forecast for our solar eclipse viewing. This black line here is the path of totality starting in Oregon. And if you just take a look as we go across much of the country, Denver Metro we could be seeing more cloud coverage, but through the eclipse, temperatures will drop from the upper 70s to low 70s. We'll be at 92% coverage right at 1147. And then when everything is said and done at 114, we'll be back in the 80s. So mid 80s tomorrow, our daytime highs for Tuesday, chance for a few scattered storms in the afternoon, cooler conditions. Wednesday, 84 degrees will dry out a bit through midweek and then reintroduce the chance for some more moisture by Thursday heading into Friday. But mid to upper 80s, feeling very normal, typical temperatures for this time of year. And we'll keep our fingers crossed for good viewing tomorrow. I hope so. I, yeah. think, I think it's going to be good. That's my, my gut feeling. I like it. Good All positive right. attitude. Yeah.